You see people around the world who are suffering. It's just getting worse and worse every day. Whenever I see adverts for alcohol, I feel disgusting. There will be no resources for human beings to use. We need to be protected. Today's children face an uncertain future. The climate emergency, conflict and migration, pervasive inequalities and predatory commercial practices threaten the health and future of children everywhere. With COVID-19 and a global economic downturn only adding to these issues. What we see in the newspapers, in the epidemiological reports, are the consequence of the major threat and the major pandemic that is affecting our world. This pandemic is called inequity, it is called social injustice and social exclusion. No country is providing the conditions needed for children to flourish. Strong leadership is needed across communities, governments and countries, as is listening to children and involving them in the decision-making process. It's the children who are going to say, but this is what I need, this is what we want, and this is what the future of humanity needs. It's a 1.8 billion constituency. It's their future. 1.8 billion people and their parents. That's a lot of votes. With bold action, we can and will make sure children have a future. We really need brave politicians. This is a big transition. It's not easy, it's difficult. And we need voters who will vote for politicians who care and who listen to the science and the evidence.